Starting this week, the city of El Paso will be having presentations with the community to inform them on the proposed $413 million public safety bond that is up for a vote in November. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela here to break down what the passage would mean for the El Paso Fire Department. Some of the current fire stations throughout the city are seeing some wear and tear due to how long they've been standing. The proposed bond would help fix some of these issues and provide more. We want to make sure that they are in good condition, good repair to take care of the men and women that take care of the city. Focusing on growth, the proposed 2019 public safety bond would pay for public improvements to the El Paso Police and Fire Department. Some of the projects for El Paso Fire include three new fire stations, a training academy, new headquarters, as well as upgrading all existing facilities. All the fire de department facilities, they range from four years old to 119 years old. And the type of uh, maintenance we'll be doing will range anything from, from paint to carpet and tile to major renovation. The bond is a debt the city of El Paso would pay back over time with taxpayer dollars. El Paso Fire alone proposing bond funds of $191.2 million. However, the department hasn't received public safety bond funding since 2004. Annually, we, we struggle with the budget to maintain our the fire stations, equipment, and vehicles. Assistant Fire Chief Terry Kepschel says the main purpose of the bond is to provide more fire stations and better services to the east and west side. A small portion of the proposed funds would also go towards vehicles and equipment. If the bond is approved by voters, funds would start being put to use beginning of 2020 and would raise property tax rates during the life cycle of the bonds. As a city employee, I'm not advocating to vote yes or no on this uh, bond election. What I am asking is voters do register to vote and go out and vote. And just a reminder, early voting will begin on October 21st through November 1st. Election day is on November 5th. In the studio, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.